Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. And the Father's Word to us talks about the reality of the witness. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18 reads, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The Bible talks about our ministry as witnesses of Christ. The Lord Jesus sent us into the world as his witnesses. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, But you receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 18. As witnesses of the Lord Jesus, we bear testimony of him in the gospel. As a Christian, your life testifies of his glory. You are a living proof of his ministry that he truly lived on earth and was crucified and buried. On the third day, God raised him from the dead. He is now exalted, glorified, and enthroned as Lord of all. Hallelujah. As a witness, you are not the one seeking proof from God. Rather, you are a proof giver. He sent you to go and bear witness of him by the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. This is in Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. Unfortunately, not many Christians have caught this reality of their life and ministry as witnesses. Instead, they are the ones seeking proofs from God. It's unfortunate. There seem to be too many Christians today who know little about what it means to be a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to train Christian witnesses as a church. Who will bring the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ to our generation? Are you a witness of the Lord Jesus? Pastor says that's what you have been called to do. You have the Holy Spirit to bear witness of the Lord Jesus to your world. His power is mightily at work in you to give attesting proofs to the gospel you preach. When you preach the gospel to others, be conscious of the power of the Holy Spirit to bear witness of the message. And let your life also do the witnessing. Hallelujah. Please make this prayer with me. I am conscious of my life and ministry as a witness of Christ. Everywhere and in everything, the glory and power of the gospel is manifested through me, to my world. I am an ardent preacher of the gospel. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For your reflection, be passionate to preach Christ everywhere. Let the gospel of the Lord Jesus be seen in your world. Meditate on Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Let her out of glory devotional. Every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius G. Christ Lord. Herald in the glorious church.